Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're here again for another weekly grind video and this week is the JP version of Dokkan Battle. This is the video where we go over all of the events and the banners that are currently available. But before we start guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please help support the channel, I would really appreciate it. Alright, so let's jump into this. First things first, we do have the new Super Battle Road events that are available with the new rewards that has gone live. It's going to be available until 731 daily. So if you want to go ahead and jump into that and do it, I highly recommend doing it, especially if you have the teams to do it. Uh, this Super Battle Road is actually specific to category systems. So if you have any of the category leads or really good categories, you should be able to do it one or two times. And this time you're getting the uh, reward of Goku, which looks like he has the same leader ability as the Thousand Day Login Goku. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you get key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Um, unfortunately, you're probably going to have to do it the same amount of times as you did with the Gohan in order to get all four dupe pads unlocked, so you don't have the, the ability to have all of them unlocked unless you could actually meet the requirements. But at the end of the day, it's still a really decent rainbow leader, so highly recommend going and doing that if you have the ability to do so. You have about six more days from the recording of this video before it goes away. Next is going to be Dokkan Battlefield, also available for six more days if you want to go ahead and do it. You have the LR Korra squad um, that is available, plus all the other units that have been available from that, including the LR Ginyu. So I uh, highly recommend doing that if you, um, you know, if you have enough units to do so or if you're just bored. Um, the next one is going to be the Extreme Z-Waking for Gohan is back until 731. It's here until 731. Um, go ahead and do that if you want to go ahead and get your ultimate Gohan, the OG, the OG Intelligence Leader, which will also be available until 731. So six more days to go and do that. Um, go ahead, jump onto that. Um, I believe the category for that is the Majin Buu R category. Also, upon completing it, every time you complete a certain amount of levels, you do get other things like Grand Elder Kai. Uh, the next one is going to be the Goku Jr. event. The GT event is back. Runs until 816. You go ahead and do that. You can grind out Goku Jr. and the orbs. He's a, hundred, a unit that you can 100%. Uh, you don't have to. But you can grind out two versions of him with all four dupes on Lock Super Attack 10 and get them each to 100% because when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into a Super Saiyan. Um, but you don't really need to do that because the Super Saiyan variant is almost never used and when it is used, it's more than enough to take on uh, usually the events that require a GT link or um, events because he is a Super Saiyan and you really aren't going to use his base form to link with anyone else. But he is available if you want to do that two times. Uh, other than that, I highly recommend at least getting him to Super Saiyan as a rainbow. Um, I gave mine full crits when I did that. <clears throat> but that runs until 816. So you have um, a little bit less than a month, about three weeks left for that event. The next one is going to be the other GT event. The new GT event runs until 731. This is the one with Goku and the two androids. It's the Super 17 event. Uh, you can get the, 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 the GT Frieza and the GT Cell from this event uh, on Z Hard. Each path drops a different card. They also feed into their summonable variants. Uh, you have Android 18 and Android 17 that's also available for drop. Um, and it looks like you also get the uh, medals for the Goku at stage 7. Um, highly recommend grinding those. Even if you didn't summon the card, you're going to need them in order for you to Doken Awaken that guy. So definitely go ahead and grab them. Um, also, all these SSRs that drop, um, these guys will... I do recommend getting them up to Super Attack 10 just because you can. Um, and possibly giving them dupe paths. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do do them dupe paths because it's just, what, a couple more left times you got to grind the level. So I at least recommend doing that. Um, the 18 cannot feed into any other 18s, though. Um, she does have the GT at the end of her name, so she could only, like, feed into herself. If she was Android 18 without the GT, then she could. Unfortunately, she cannot. Uh, but that, again, runs until 731, so you have a few more days to grind that out. Next one is going to be the Korra event. Now, this Korra event... Um, honestly, I, I, as much as I would like to tell you guys to go grind this out for the medals, if you get the Intelligence Korra, which is a very highly common summonable SR, he will Doken Waken into Final Form Korra. You can go ahead Z-Waken him for a, a, to an Ultra Rare. He will feed into the Physical Korra and the other Korra. I forgot which one it was. I think it was the Technique Final Form Korra in order to increase the Super Attack up to level 10. Now, I would definitely, if you guys have the time to do it and you're just bored and you're like, let's say you, you know, you're out for sick, like Broken Leg or something like that or a stupid Summer Cold, Go ahead and do it. Other than that, it's definitely a grind. You need to get like the Goku medals, the Korra medals, and his, qu and his squad medals. And those squad medals are like split up on rounds one, two, four, and five, or six, um, and seven for Goku. So like you literally have to grind out all those damn medals in order for you to uh, get get at least one um, of him Doken Waken. You gotta grind out a lot of it. But if you are the full free to play route and you're a newer player and you're trying to get like your physical Korra or just say your technique one because you don't have good units uh, to Super Attack 10, this is definitely gonna be the way to do it. Um, outside of that, uh, the King Cold that's here and the, the Frost, um, they are both here available to grind. 
Uh, they're not really good at all, so even if you're a newer player, it's still not going to be that beneficial for you. But they are free-to-play cards, so they are going that you can throw them on Prime Battles. Do not try to grind out level 10 for the Frieza or the Korra. They're very, very, very low drop rate. I think it was like a 1% drop rate. They haven't really done anything with this event, but again, you can go ahead and do that if you, free, if you really want to. The other thing is because the Korra over here is an SR, you Doken Awaken him to Final Form Korra. You at least want to get enough to Doken Awaken him to that final form just in case you want to use him on a team for whatever reason again he's not that great attacking defense plus 1500 up is very very like first three months meta but like outside of that really not useful but if you're doing it for collective purposes it's, it's kind of worth it uh that runs until 8 7. the next one is going to be the great saiyan manor event it runs until 8 7. uh now this event is i mean it's kind of whack there's really nothing else going on here i mean you do awaken like you get this guy this gohan over here he's farmable from level six he is free to play so that's pretty cool um, that fact that he is free to play, but uh, outside of that, I mean, you never really run him, you never really use him in prime battles, he is available, um, there's a lot of better units out there, there's a lot of better great Saiyan mans out there, but again, for a free to play unit, you can definitely go and grind it out, you also are going to need the medals to Doken Awaken, the, uh, the great Saiyan man 1 and the great Saiyan man 2, we see over here the uh, summonable uh, base form second or uh, agility Gohan will Doken Awaken into Great Saiyan Man. A Videl, the technique Videl will Doken Awaken into the, the Great Saiyan Man 2. And the same thing with the strength Videl. Um, but you're going to need those medals in order to Doken Awaken them. So definitely go grind them out. Go check out the wiki for looking for the exact number of medals. If you have them, you can definitely check it out once you Z Awaken them to their next form. Um, next level is, or the next event is going to be um, the Ultra Super Saiyan 4 runs until 731 daily. Then it's only going to be available, I believe, on Technique and Super Days. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Actually, he might be available on Strength Days because it's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So he should... No, it's not. It looks like it's a separate event because the other events are not being listed here. So um, Technique and Super Days. Uh, you go ahead, take on the event if you want to, to get your Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, Doken Awaken, definitely recommend it. You're also going to need those medals for the Goku I just talked to you about. The one where you need to grind out the actual event for the Goku medals. This is the uh, Strength Base Form Goku from Kid, the Kid uh, Base Form GT Goku. You need those medals and the medals from this event in order to Doken Awaken. Again, daily until 731, so if you want to take advantage of it, go ahead and take on that event. Now we're moving on until the to the banners for the summons, if you guys are looking for summons. Um, until 731, we have the extreme is uh, the extreme Gohan banner. You have Gohan, you have uh, uh, Korra, the physical Korra, and the physical Goku Black. Um, you can go ahead and throw them, well, try to summon for them if you want to, especially if you don't have the Gohan. Uh, the 120 Korra is actually really good. He's one of my favorite 120 leaders, especially out of all the villains. Um, outside of that, that, those are the only three featured units, so you have a higher chance of pulling them. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it runs until 731. Summon on that if you are looking for either of those units. Um, the other one, we already talked about this yesterday, actually, because I did drop a video yesterday on 724 um, for the Bra or Bulla and Chi Chi, the new cards. I did a full linking guide for the two of them. So if you're interested in get checking out that video, go ahead and make sure to check out that video. Um, it's, it's, it'll be in the video right before this one. It'll probably be linked at the end of it. Um, so that's going to be available. Chi Chi's really not that bad of a unit, and... A uh, Bulla or a Bra is actually a pretty damn decent support unit. So both of these girls are not horrible. They're not horrible, but they're not like fantastic either. They're lacking link skills, but uh, in terms of their passes and what they actually do, they're not horrible. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend running them on your primary team. They're really, really good for the Peppy Girls category though. Um, next one is going to be the Majin Buu Saga category. Summon is also available. Go ahead, do that. That runs until 731. Um, this Buu is really, really good. You also have the Majin Vegeta and the Agility Goku from the LR banner that came out, the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito banners that came out. So you have your chances to get them. Obviously, they are not Doken Fest exclusive, so they're going to be pretty much available on almost any banner, but they are here, so if you want to try and get either of them as well. I don't think either of them are fantastic, but they are available. But that Boo is really good, so hopefully you guys can grab him. He also does Doken. Um, the next banner is going to be the Elder Kai banner. It's pretty self-explanatory, runs until 731. Get your 50 stones, you get 10 Elder Kais from summoning on it, kind of worth it. Uh, and last but not least, obviously, is going to be the Ultra Super Saiyan 4 banner, which is available. I did do uh, a summon on that. I did two multi-summons on that. I got a crap. Uh, it runs until 731. You also have the chance on this banner to get the LR Goku and Vegeta Angel or LR Goku and Vegeta. Um, the Intelligence one, again, is going to be the Vegito card. The Physical one is the Gogeta card. And obviously, the primary unit on the banner that you're all going to want to try and go for is going to be the Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, but outside of that, guys, that is the JP side of Dokkan Battle. That's all the events and banners that are currently available. If you guys are summoning on this side, uh, let me know if you guys had any luck. Again, I only did two summons. I haven't even posted them because of the third year anniversary on the global side. But I hope you all had good luck if you did summon on this. 
But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.